so today we're going to make Jacob's Ladder and I'm using the crochet hook that the yarn calls for so I'm using a G but some people use an H or an I for a number four yarn so I make my slip knot and I am going to cast on I'm going to make it a multiple of six but some people can make multiple of five, multiple of four, whatever you wish. But I'm going to make multiple of six plus two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, I'll do 24 plus 2. So now I am going to yarn over and double crochet on the fourth loop from my hook. So that's 1, 2, 3 on the fourth. And I will double crochet on each of the loops all the way to the end and I will have my 24 which is a multiple of 6 and I'll see you when I finish this row okay so I have my 24 double crochets I am going to chain one turn and do a single crochet on each one of the spaces, so of the chains. So single crochet on each one. And these two rows are going to be my base rows. And once I have my 24 single crochets, I will come back and show you what to do next. So those two are my base rows. And now I want to change color. I'm going to use the darker blue. And I have my chain there. I'm just going to pass that one. Tighten that one a little. And I am going to do three chains up. One, two, three. Turn. And I will do, that counts as number one. And I'll do two, three, four, five, six. So once I have my six, I want to do ten chains. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then slip stitch into the base of that chain right in there. So slip and slip. Okay, so now I'm going to do six more double crochets. That will be one. Two, three, four, five, and six, and I do my ten chains again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and again slip stitch into the base of that chain right in there there we go and now six more double crochets so that's one two three Four, five, and six. 
six and then I'll do my ten chains again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then slip stitch into that base of the chain and I do six double crochets more that's one two three four five and six so on the way back what you want to do is chain one turn and then single crochet until you get to the loop so that's one two three four five and six and then push that loop to the back and find that single crochet next to it so that chain there and one two three four five Six, push that loop to the back and single crochet into the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, push the loop to the back and find the next one. One, two, three, four, five, and, whoops, and the last one right in there, and that's six. And now we're going to change colors. So now I'm going to change colors and I'll pass the lighter blue through Let's see there we go pull on that one and then I'm going to do my three chains up and turn so that one counts as one and I have that's two three four five and six and now I do my ten chains up one two three four five six oops seven eight nine ten and then I come back to the base and slip stitch into that one Oops. there we go and now six more double crochets that's one two three four five six and then ten chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and slip stitch into the base of that so right in there and then six more double crochets and do that until the end of the row so six and then the ten chains and six double crochets and ten chains and so on and then of course on the way back you chain one 
and single crochet on each one so that's one two three four five and six push the loop toward the back and find that first chain that's one two three four five six you push that chain to the back and find that first one and you do that to the end of the row and I'm going to do a few more rows so that you can see how it looks and I'll show you how to pick up the loops to make the ladder. So once I have the length that I want because I just want to do a washcloth, I am going to do another row of double crochet without making the chains. So just one row of regular double crochet and once you do this row I'll come back to show you what to do on the next one. At this stage you want to have all your loops like so and in order to do that you are going to pick up the first loop go under the second one and pass it through so again you pick up this the next one from underneath and pass it through and again pick up and pass it through pick up, pass it through, let's do that again, go, pick up, pass it through, pick up, pass it through, pick up, and pass it through, and leave all the, the last one dangling up there, because we're going to go and secure it on the next row. Okay, so now on this row we're going to be catching all these loops and I need to do my single crochet row, chain one, turn, and then we, we go into that first one, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth one, you go in there and pick up the loop that you have down there. Be aware to have it nice and straight. Okay, there we go. Pick up the loop and single crochet it. Now on the first stitch on the next set of six, go into that chain, pick up the loop again, and single crochet, and that would be number one, two, three, four, Five. on the sixth one go in there and pick up that loop there we go and single crochet with it and then on the first one of the next set of six that will be number one pick up that loop again and single crochet so that would be one two three, four, 
five on the sixth one, go there, pick up the loop, single crochet, on the next one you go there, pick it up again, and single crochet, and then end the row. And then of course I want to do another row of double crochet so like that it looks the same as at the beginning and it has a nice finish and so when I do that I'll come back and take some pictures so you can see how it looks and this is very interesting this is very cute so thank you very much for watching please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and I'll see you next time.